All right, this is a throwing and dodging game called Run the Gauntlet, or I've heard other people call it Pony Express. This is my personal preference um, as an alternative of playing dodgeball, so I find dodgeball really hard to umpire. So there are two teams. So one team's a running team, and they line up here. And I usually sort of give them an item. So I might give them a tennis racket or a cricket bat, or sometimes I do like this sword and shield thing where I have like a batting tee that they hold as a shield and then like a cricket stump as a sword just to make it a little bit more fun or you can do with it what, as you will. So the first person grabs that item and they stand inside a safe zone. So I mark this out by netball third or you can do it by cones if you don't specifically have a basketball court and I usually shape that like a um, half circle or semicircle. okay? So the game enters when this person enters the gauntlet with their item and they have to try and run up to the other safe zone, so all the way down here. And then they have to as well make it all the way back. Once they make it back, they score a run for their team, okay? And they go to the back of the line. So they'd go to the back of the line for another shot. Um, and then the next person goes. While that's going on, when they're trying to run to the other side, everyone else will be in pairs on the side. So if you have a good sort of throwing class, I sort of make it the sideline. But if they maybe struggle with throwing, you can make it a bit closer. Or I can tell you a couple of ways that you can change the rules as well. So they have one dodgeball between all these pairs. So if you had a class of 24, you'd have six cones out and then all stand in pairs together. If you have an odd amount, you could just have one person by themselves. So they're attempting to throw the dodgeballs to hit the runner on the full, and they can use their item, the tennis racket cricket bat, to hit the balls away. But if it hits them, okay, I blow the whistle, and that means stop. What I make as a difference, so if this person steps in front of the sideline, their throw doesn't count, so I always tell the runner to only stop if they hear the whistle, because the thrower could have thrown from in front of the line. Or the other rule I make is, if these two both have a ball and they throw, the throw also doesn't count. So it encourages them to share with their pairs and throw one to the side. And it helps them collect balls and work as a team together as opposed to just the, you know, the better throwing kids or the kids that hog the ball um, always getting the ball when they throw. So I find that helps with a bit of teamwork in the game. So only the whistle. If they happen to get hit and blow the whistle, so say this person gets hit here, they hold that item, the cricket bat or whatever the items are, up and then the next person has to come across and try to run the gauntlet. They have to pick up the item and then get to this side and get back. And as I said before, if they get back, they go to the end of the line, okay, for another shot. And they can't go a second time until everyone's had a shot though. That's another rule. I make to ensure everyone gets a fair go. Once all the players are out and they're sort of sitting down, they'll be scattered along the court, okay? Then we switch over and the throwers become the runners and the runners become the throwers. Now as well, another rule I make is I kind of leave this up to the kid because some of them don't like to sit down in the middle and possibly get hit by balls. I use really small, soft one though, to sort of avoid this. They can sit here and hold up their hands and help block for their team, but I make it, if they stand up or get up on their knees, I take a run off their team. If they don't want to sit here, I allow them to sort of come out of the gauntlet and sit on the side so you can tell who's out of the game as well. So they're not trying to like sneak over and line up again for another shot while you're not looking. Because you need to be watching very carefully when you play this game. I find it a really fun game to play with the kids and they really enjoy it and they get into it when they start playing. And I like those little rules like you can't step in front of the line or it doesn't count. Um, and you can't have two balls at one station and you have to throw from your cone as well. So if they get a ball like over here and start pegging it from here... Okay, it encourages them to actually pass it back to the person on the cone. So you can add in little rules like that to help them with team work. And it helps as well when I'm umpiring to make it easier for me to umpire. So I hope you enjoy the game Run the Gauntlet or Pony Express and give it a go yourself.